Maya he, Maya ho, Maya ha, Maya ha. Low key for not being a singer and just waking up like maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. I think that sounded pretty good, all right? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Premier here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are all having a beautiful and wonderful day. And welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. I swear when I do my intros, I kind of mess up my whole entire idea for a video because I want to start talking about something else automatically. My brain at times is such a jumbled ass mess because I have like 60,000 different things going on up there at one time. In yesterday's video, I brought up the fact that I don't have platinum camo for my sniper rifles. And I guess right now there's a glitch or maybe this is the way it's supposed to be for the game or whatever i guess in order to get platinum camo you have to complete all the sniper rifle challenges and then on top of that you have to complete the marksman challenges technically you have to do two different complete classes to unlock platinum camo for both of the i don't know it, it's confusing all right i really don't know man this game bro is broken as shit sometimes just looking at platinum camo like this it doesn't look all that great but i've seen some gameplay with it and it looks pretty decent in game like these right here just don't give it justice it looks like this really spotty digital camo like it just doesn't look good i definitely don't think that platinum camo is gonna be like as nice looking or as good as like any diamond camo that treyarch has done because treyarch just does really good ass camos honestly treyarch has the number one undisputed best camos in call of duty history Although Exclusion Zone and Modern Warfare was pretty damn nice. I'd actually kill to have an Exclusion Zone camo in this game. It was just so clean. It just looks so good. Even though when you were playing on Bog or like Wet Work, you basically lit yourself up like a fucking glow stick. But anyway, we're going to be doing some Car 98K challenges and get some of these camos for it. I should be able to get most of them done by the end of the day or probably finish it by the end of the day. I don't know if I'll be able to get this done in the video just because these mounted kills take forever. Every time I've gotten the mounted kills, I've had to go into like Ground War and it takes me at least five to six games just to get it done. I know I've talked about the Car 98K being a complete pile of shit and just being garbage with the hit markers and everything. This game is so weird when it comes to attachments because once I got all the like quick scoping attachments for the Car 98K, the thing is an actual beast, all right? It shreds everything. Bro, how in the fuck did I know that was gonna kill me? Like I said, I just woke up not that long ago, and my brain is not fully functional right now. These first couple of games are gonna be kind of tough. Me and Naruto over here, we're not ready, all right? We're not mentally prepared right now, all right? We're not trying to be Hokage and shit in this game right now. I swear I talk about Naruto on like a daily basis. I've actually listened to Naruto intros while I'm in the shower and shit before. Oh. This kid actually throw that at me? You little scumbag, dude. And he closed the door so I couldn't come out and kill his ass. So yeah, I really don't know if I'm gonna make this all into like a series. I definitely want to make a video with at least every single weapon in this game, even though it's gonna take me a long ass time. Even though it's gonna take me forever to get to Damascus. The random hit markers with this thing, I swear, it's a god tier gun, alright? It's pretty decent, but when you get these random hit markers, it makes you want to go fucking crazy, alright? It actually makes you want to go insane. I need to get into a better lobby where kids aren't sweating their balls off at 6 o'clock in the morning because this shit is a little bit crazy, alright? People are bitching about claymores, but at least you can see claymores. Now kids are gonna start using landmines and shit to blow your ass to pieces, where you can barely see them and everyone's gonna be bitching about those for the next couple of days. I think Infinity Ward is actually working on some type of nerf for the claymores, which I don't really know how the hell they're gonna nerf claymores because they're explosives and shit if i were playing would you rather i'd rather get killed by claymores instead of c4 I'm telling you right now, this gun is not that bad normally, all right? I'm telling you guys right now that this thing doesn't get this many hit markers unless I hit record on my Elgato. I swear, when I'm just sitting here playing the game and not really giving a shit, this thing never gets hit markers or barely does it get hit markers. And now it's like every single time I turn my Elgato on, it just wants to be a hit marking machine. I guess they're going to make some changes to the Claymores. I don't really know what they're going to do for the Claymores. I don't know how the hell you can make a Claymore less explosive. All right, Carnet AK, we're going to have a heart to heart real quick, okay? Just you and me, all right? Just you and me. I need you to not get as many hit markers today. Today, okay, I need you to be solid like a rock where you're basically just killing everything that you see if I miss the shot That's on me. Okay That's what I like to see so I am a little bit behind on this news I guess this came out like yesterday or maybe two days ago So I guess a brand new 50 v 50 map was leaked over on the Activision companion app Some people are calling the map farms. Some people are calling the map train yard I said train yard, but I'm pretty sure people are calling it like train station or something like that Oh, if that little Papega wasn't sitting there, dude, I would have fucking smoked his head ass. So that 50v50 map ended up getting leaked. I guess there was some other leaks going on. 
This kid's really that horny for me. Bro, this kid is horny, man. He's just horny. I'd make a shitty porn star joke there because I normally do when I say something like that. I'm just gonna roll right over it, all right? I'm just gonna roll right over it today. There's a little bit of magic luck when it comes to making videos on this game, all right? You gotta talk dirty to it, all right? You gotta get real pissed off, real angry, real mad, real quick, and the game will start to warm up to you, all right? It'll start coming over more often. You guys will have a couple little nice dates, okay? Some rocky, rough patches. Where the fuck am I going with this, dude? I swear to God, half my videos, I'm just saying stupid shit for stupid reasons. I don't really know what I'm doing. There was an actual quad feed lined up. It would have been split. Look at this little fucking cretin! When people get mad at me for making videos about fucking camping, but you gotta deal with that dumb shit. Instead of domination for the day, let's just go play TDM. I haven't played a single match of TDM since this game came out, so let's just try some TDM. I just wanna know how TDM plays in this. I have not played a single game of TDM, but I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more slow paced. Okay, fuck this map. So I know this leak has been out for quite a while about the new cargo map, which is basically just shipment. It's supposed to be like a 2v2 map. I know a lot of people really want the original shipment map to just be a TDM lobby or a domination lobby or something. We definitely need some more really, really small arcadey maps. My teammate just took away a quad from me. Maybe even a five on if I would have hit that shot. The other leaked map ended up being Rust. Imagine if we got Rust and Shipment in the regular multiplayer in this game. I know that Cargo or Shipment and Rust have been kind of like on the leaked board for quite a while. I know that those two maps have been known about for quite some time. This 50 v 50 map called like Farm or Train Station or whatever people are going to call it. It's looking pretty nice, all right? I'm actually kind of excited to play a 50 v 50 mode. I swear half these big ass maps are just preparing people for BR in this game. There's definitely going to be a battle royale. Even though this game is the furthest thing from Black Ops 4, people are still jumping and shit. This enemy team is just surrounding this house. Like, they are swarming in, SWAT berating that shit. This enemy team is actually creating a family inside of that house. I'm never playing morning lobbies ever again. People are sitting here just sweating their balls off right before they go to work. They're gonna have to take another shower before they leave for work because they're just sweating a storm out of here, man. I really want to know how many remastered maps are gonna put in this game. I definitely want high rise. I want terminal for sure. Terminal has to be in this game. If there's gonna be any remastered maps, please remaster terminal or put it in the game somehow. So I don't really know if I should get excited for this 50v50. I think it's definitely cool to have a 50v50 coming to the game. God! I think me and Naruto need to go back to sleep. My sensitivity right now is so whack. I'm playing extremely bad. I'm straight having an issue that I need a tissue for. I'm about to start crying. Like, I'm having such a bad time right now. Yo, what did I just get hit by? I swear, some of these weapons in this game hit you like a sack of fucking potatoes. Obviously, the M4 is just god tier in this game. The M4 is definitely the best gun in the game so far. A lot of people want that shit to get nerfed. I definitely think that most of the ARs in this game need to be nerfed a little bit, just because you can actually get beamed across map. This MK2 is just so nice. The MK2 in the beta was hella nice. I'm actually gonna pop out the MK2 just because the MK2 and- What kind of fucking garbage spawn was that? Hello? This man's just standing at a fucking brick wall and he- Is that my fault? What did I do? I think this will be the last time that I wake up this early to record a video on this game. I used to wake up at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning just to have like 2 hours of time just to basically wake up my brain. I used to wake up that early for my job just so I'd be ready and shit. After months and months and months of doing that shit, I wake up at like 6 o'clock, start playing Call of Duty within like the first 15 minutes of me being awake. Like this is a good idea. Dude, I just saw the most giant spider crawling on my window seal. This thing is like that big around, just chilling on my window. I don't know why there's so many spiders that just like to hang outside of my window. Like, I swear to God, they're always plotting on some shit. Ah, oh, you sneaky little devil, you. Oh, come on! Oh, shit! Fuck you! Crawl! No, 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 no! Close it! There we go. Oh my god, what? Leave me the fuck alone.